are good day everyone and welcome back to another episode of empires in the last episode i built that beautiful stunning clock tower in the back for our wonderful pirate pete that we rescued from pix's crazy adventure and today it seems as if someone has sent us a message down below and i want to go investigate and excuse the lag i'm not sure what is going on here but hopefully it settles itself out as the map loads more i don't know i'm like oh my god it's getting glitchier hey joey so good an apology sorry for blowing up your boat i got you a new one love from joel p.s return my gold well little does he know the gold that i stole from him is happily in the possession of my beautiful fiance that's right um, so if he wants that gold, it's too bad. I don't have it anymore. Too bad for him. And now I have a beautiful, gorgeous new boat. Is that the reflection? What does it look like? There's a boat on top of a boat. Okay. What is happening? Why am I dying? Why am I dying? Ah, I was squished. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh no. Do I have a boat? Yes. Okay. I must get back to my stuff before it spawns. I sat in a boat. <laughs> People are concerned about me. It was a trap. He shall suffer for the sins he has committed. What is this boat witchcraft he does? I must investigate what has happened with this boat that squashed me. How dareth he make me lose all my stuff and all my levels? Okay, first, let's set our respawn point to this lovely bed that i have out in the open and let's go investigate this cursed boat and first gather all my stuff what is this witchcraft wow my stuff really went flying okay i believe i have everything uh let's go put my stuff away in a chest okay it is time to figure out the mystery behind this weird situation we shall place our bed here okay try to if i click here Ah! I don't like this. Stop squishing me so much. Why does it do this? Why does it squish me so good? How are there two boats on top of each other? What is this witchcraft? Break it off. Yes. Haha. -ha. Oh. 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 They keep mating. Oh no, what is happening? Why are there so many boats? Why are they reproducing? Oh no, they won't stop. Oh, 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 they keep going. They keep going and going and going. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, my port. My port. So many vessels. Wow, this makes me look very powerful. The most powerful pirate ever to live. <gasps> wow, thank you, Joel. Is this the true power of a god? It must be. I love this gift. I should go repay him a thank you. <gasps> look at this. Oh my gosh. Can I walk on all of them? <gasps> wow, this is incredible. I think I'm actually a little stuck here. I should go back. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? This is incredible. Truly. The best work you've ever done, Joel. Truly. I am impressed. He thinks this is a prank. This is a gift. A gift to the Eversea Empire. I am a happy pirate. Oh, look at all my boats. <laughs> I want to fill them all up with more pirates. Imagine if I could fill this all up with pirates and then go on a quest kill my enemy skeletron won't even know what's coming <laughs> this is so cool well now that i have my new future fleet i'm feeling really powerful and super uh excited for the future <laughs> hello who's there Anyways, we should go and think of a nice gift that we can give to our fellow god, Joel. But in the meantime, I actually have some exciting new changes to make. So my wings for my elytra have been pretty boring and not very piratey. So I have a new texture for them. And all it takes is just a little bit of magic, which I already created some essence and a smithing table. And basically, I just put my elytra in here, my essence here, and 
I now have these gorgeous wings. Let's take a look. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> look at how cool it totally fits. Uh, I know I said that I didn't really want to take on the skeleton skull look, but Skeletron, I'm coming for your brand, okay? And this is to prove that I'm not afraid of skeletons. It's actually to show my mortal enemy on my back because I'm going to come and kill you and all your little skeleton minions. So let this be a threat to you and to anyone watching who's on Skeletron's side. This one's for you. Yeah. Hope it didn't tickle too much. Oh my god, this is so creepy. There's like something underneath the boat that's like pushing them away. Hello? Oh, it's just a fish. Huh. Oh, I thought it was something more dangerous. Just some salmon. Okay, I guess it's safe to go for a swim. Hello? Any monsters down here? Okay, just some fish. <gasps> oh no! You were trapped in here, weren't you? Ah! Death be with you! Oh! You really like these boats, don't ya? Well, don't mind if I do. Oh, I will take your head. Thank you. Oh, I can't get up. <laughs> okay, as much as I really love these boats, it is making my frame rate go really slow and it probably will slow the server down. So I do need to break a majority of these. So I think I'm gonna just do some target practice while I figure out a thank you gift I can give to Joel uh, while I shoot these boats down this is fun just some target practice bam 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 we love infinity although this is probably breaking my bow i should probably just stick to some axing Whee! it's actually really fun now that they're all loaded in i can freely just like walk across the water on them <laughs> this is so wild i'm literally just using the boats as an extension of the dock it's kind of everything come on boat park poor parpour what's a parpour oh these wings are so gorgeous too okay well it is all cleared up look at that my <laughs> boat free which is a bad thing because honestly guys as a pirate i need boats in my port so that is definitely going to be the adventure for today as soon as we get some sweet sweet revenge on joel so i have a plan on what i'm going to do to get this revenge and it's gonna require some gold and some tnt <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So I'm going to be taking inspiration from Mr. Pix on the adventure he created for me. I watched his video. If you guys did not see the making of, of the pirate cavern thing, he said that if I were to dig up the golden tooth, that it would have exploded. So I'm going to take a page out of his book and uh, do the exact same thing to Joel. He wants his gold back, he will get it tenfold. So let's actually head to the nether hub where we can go to his gold farm. That's right, we're going to steal more gold from him and pay him back with his own gold just to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ultimate pirate plan of revenge. Even though I did enjoy that prank, he still needs to be dealt with because he thought it was going to be an evil prank. Hello, XP farm slash gold farm. Yes, come to me, my experience. Okay, so all I have to do is shoot one of these guys and then bam, they all come running. Give me their Goldilocks. Come here. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you. Oh, wow. So let me just sit here, get some experience, and I will collect the gold to give to Joel. Ah, a perfect plan. Just a simple 80 levels, and let's see how much Goldilocks we have accumulated. Okay, um, it must be filtering down further and further because... Where's all the gold? Ah, here it is. Okay, so let's make a bunch of golden blocks, shall we? Okay, let's make these gold blocks. What is this? From a friend? <gasps> is this a gift from my girlfriend? <gasps> a diamond! A lost diamond? Why is it called lost diamond? And a, <laughs> a jungle sapling? Okay, that is very random. Well, I will gladly take this lost diamond and this jungle sapling. Thank you, mysterious friend. 
That is so kind of you. If anyone knows who that's from, let me know down below because I would like to think this lost friend. Huh, okay. Well, let's just put it away and let's make these golden squares. Oh, wow, 35 blocks of gold. I feel like that's probably a little bit too much, but it's perfect. I'll just keep the rest. Okay, so we only have one thing of TNT and that is certainly not going to be enough explosive. So I think we might actually have to go take a little trip over to our favorite gunpowder place and that would be tumble town tumble town here we come although i'm gonna need some diamonds and i feel like this lost diamond is special so let's not use that let's actually use our fortune pickaxe to break some of this deep sleep diamond ore that we got on our quest where's my pickaxe okay i found my pickaxe so with 10 of these ores let's see how much we can get with fortune three I think I was just scammed. I only made a profit of four diamonds from 10 of those. Are you kidding me? What the heck? <gasps> I thought it was going to be way richer than that. Oh, oh, oh. How rude. Let's see if we made any money at our shop. Probably not. Which kind of makes me feel like we might need to make a different shop because Prismarine, you know, it's not for everybody. So I feel like we need a resource that everybody needs. Yeah, we are making no money. And listen, I feel like Jimmy has a good thing going with this gunpowder because everybody needs rockets. But to make a rocket, you need two things. You need paper and gunpowder. So what if I go in the market of paper business? Yeah? Pirate Paper Joey. Oh, sorry, Joe. Pirate Joe. Paper Pirate Joe. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go first get the gunpowder to get our revenge, and then we'll become a business pirate again. Here it is, the Tumble Town portal. I have literally one rocket left to get my ass back up here, so let's make the most of it. Whee! Here we come! I'm ready for some gunpowder. I swear, if he does not have any gunpowder, I'm literally just going to take this TNT again because that is so rude. <gasps> no! Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to get my revenge if there's no... <clears throat> I need rockets and I need gunpowder for TNT. Maybe I can sneak into his farm and I will pay still per stack, but you know, like a boy needs what he needs. Or maybe I should just make a rivalry gunpowder business. That sounds much better. Okay, so it seems like this is his creeper spawner. And um, I think maybe down here. Oh, perfect. <gasps> Only 30 gunpowder. Okay, that's honestly probably all I need. So I will give him one diamond for half the stack, which is so rude, but at least we can make some stuff with it some rockets and some gunpowder. Maybe if I go up here, they'll start spawning? All right, well, I have five TNT, the golds, and the observers to ignite the TNT. <laughs> it's a very simple trap, actually. So basically, the observers will basically know when the block above it has moved out of the way, aka when Joel goes to break it, it will set a signal for the TNT to explode. So like I said, very simple. So let's bring some materials to build potentially a secluded island for this gold that I will be returning. I'm not really sure. He might already have a place where this could go, but just in case, I might build my own island. So let's head over to, uh, what is it called? Stratos? Okay, let's go. Ah, here it is. Wait, just a second. The Stratosphere is returned? How the heck was it brought back? I'm very confused. What is he asking the gold for back if he already has it? <gasps> Did he steal it from Catherine? Oh my gosh. Not only is he threatening me and pranking me, he's now brought my girlfriend into the mix of this? Future fiance, he stole my gift back from her? Okay. 
I was going to play nice and build a nice secluded little island for your sweet precious gold. But no, we're not playing that game anymore. We are putting it right here. And if it explodes the stratosphere, so it will. So let's get into this, shall we? Let's build this up. Okay. So it should work like this. I'll put this here, this one here, and then maybe one right here. Bitch, you have so much gold down there. What do you even need my gold for? Okay, so now that the observers are there, let's cover them up. So when they do get exposed, they can explode, but not while I'm here, okay? So we'll put this here, this here, 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 and here. And then we will cover it up. Shoot, I didn't bring enough gold. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> oh, I thought I had enough. Actually, I can break this gold back here. That should be enough to cover it. Aha, yes, he will never notice. <gasps> okay, now we just need a sign and hopefully he digs straight ahead. Let me just break that one. Okay, I left a really sweet message behind so he doesn't suspect anything. It says, return your ugly gold. Hope we can put this behind us. Love, Pirate Joe. And it will just be so great because basically he's going to mine this and it's just going to go BAM! And he's going to explode and sell the stratosphere and it's going to be so amazing! Oh, I can't wait for him to feel the wrath of Pirate Joe. Okay, well, uh, let's go back home and let's start adding to our port and making Pirate Cove, aka the Forgotten Cove, something more piratey. Let's go. Welcome back to my sad, sad port. What is a pirate without his vessels? So at first I'm thinking I need to expand more docks so I can incorporate more ships because this really only allows for maybe a max of two. So I'm thinking of creating two more platforms one about here and one about here. So that will allow more boats to be here. And I'm thinking of kind of going for a bit of a night market type vibe. If you've ever played Stardew Valley, just like the colorful ships and them having shops in it. So I could possibly put my sugarcane shop in one of the boats. So without further ado, let's first start off with expanding more platforms. And just like that, three more docks have been added. I, of course, extended the planks all the way down to the ground just to make it feel more substantial. Added some lanterns. And now I want to place a boat here, which I'm thinking will be my shop. And then just more of like a cosmetic boat right there. So I'm going to do a cute little time lapse of making that. Oh, shoot. Actually, I just realized I need to go and collect a bunch of watermelon for the roof. So uh, let me go do that real quick. All right, the first boat is complete. This is going to be my sugarcane shop boat. So I decided to make the roof look very natural and I tried my first round with a gradient and I wanted to go with green because sugarcane is green. And like I said, I wanted it to feel kind of like the night market. So it has a bit of a colorful, whimsical vibe about it. And I think it turned out really cute. So let's go inside and I can show you. So you walk across the plank into the boat. I'll probably decorate here a little bit, maybe with some sugarcane and pots. And then you come in here, and this is where the storefront will be. I'll probably just put some chest or barrels, and then just a sign with how much it costs. And then down here, I can, oh. Well, uh, it seems like my ship is a little bit flooded. I can't get out of here. Oh no, I'm gonna drown. Okay, we'll just do a little bit of this, and what? All right, we're good. So uh, next, I'm going to make the ship over here, which will be very simple, very quick. So enjoy the quick time lapse of that. And then we will work on the actual Sugar King farm. <laughs> ship 
ship number two is complete. This one is way more simple. There's actually nothing that can be on the inside because it is so small. So it's more for decoration purposes, but let's take a look in my little headspace. I think it's really cute. They're very different vibes. <laughs> So we have one that's more fantastical and whimsical and one that's a little bit more, I guess, realistic. But I kind of like the contrast of the two. I think it's, you know, I'm a man of many fleets, okay? I don't hold myself down to one type of ship. Okay, so that is that. Now let's get going on making some money by creating our sugarcane farm, which I am going to pretty much just copy a tutorial on how to make one. So I'll explain it after I build it. But as for a location, I'm thinking because I want to eventually turn this into a town up here I think a basement of one of the future houses that will be in here because I want to build like a big village area kind of like a town square I think it would be a good idea to have one in the basement and kind of turn that into maybe like the factory of the sugarcane and then we bring it down to the port where we can have the trades and maybe even eventually I might tear this down and make a fishing boat down here somewhere I don't know for another one of our markets maybe over there I don't know could be almost like a, a crash crashed sunken ship so who knows that could be way later down the line but anyways I'm gonna get going on creating this underground sugar cane farm do you guys want to see my creepy basement <laughs> where I make all my paper come on down here <gasps> Just this way, just oh, past this piece of wool down into the depths we go. So I found this online. It is a very simple sugarcane farm. Basically, this is my first time doing a lot of redstone up in here. So there's this track that goes along the base and there's some sugarcane up here that grows. And once it reaches the level of the observer, the pistons will push it off and it will fall down here and somehow the cart I don't know how it picks up the pieces and drops them off in a dropper let me see if we can wait and watch it happen actually we can force it to happen watch this so I'll take one of these and I'll put it there and it hits it and then somehow it disappears through the sand I'm not sure how but the hopper minecart takes it and develops it over here and we get this so let me take this let's convert it to paper and let's go set up our shop okay so i have a couple things to do some cute decorations for in here so let's see if we can make it a cute little shop okay so starting out i have some barrels that we will place the actual goods in I'll start here with the paper hopefully it fills these chests up so much like i'm hoping that it just is so good and then let's put Oh my gosh, I was trying to put the baby one there and then the big one just appeared. <gasps> oh, I love it. It's so cute. Okay, so for now, I think it's going to be one diamond per 64 paper. I, I feel like that works for now. It depends on how much I end up making. If it like fills up really quick, then I could make it like two stacks for one diamond. But anyways, let's put some carpet down make it kind of cute in here perfect get some hanging lanterns going and then I need some greenery so let's put some bamboo no bamboo is so basic absolutely not I think we need two azalea bushes okay azalea yeah that is so cute I absolutely love that but also there's a cool thing that we can do with item frames to make them invisible so I think I want to put some paper on them. <gasps> Cute! So with a little bit of magic, it looks like they're just hanging there. I actually did it already over here with these. So I think that's very cute. And then also we can place a nice little candle here for some ambiance. And <laughs> hopefully no one burns their paper that they purchase. No refunds. Okay, well, I'm going to AFK and get a bunch more paper stocked 
for our new shop, but let's take one final look at oh, what we built today because I'm very happy with the new port. We have a very cute, magical, whimsical paper store and just a ship. <laughs> Love it, but our place is coming together. It's looking so nice and the pirate Forgotten Cove is becoming less forgotten each day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you're enjoying these videos and let me know what you think I should get for my girlfriend as a gift because I feel like I need to do something special for her. So if you know of anything that, you know, she might like, let me know down below. And until next time, I'll see you next time. Good damn bye.